Hello guys, welcome back to a brand new video today. Today it is my match preview for the Brighton Liverpool game um happening tomorrow. Um not a lot of, not a lot of time till kick off now. Um obviously uh, I'm gonna go over a few things that I used to do but I'm also gonna change a few things in this video as well. So guys anyway you know what to do, subscribe for more, thanks for watching and let's go. First of all, I'll start off with a few of Liverpool danger men. Um, you know, you've got um, Neil Salah, um, Robert Firmino, and uh, Mane. That's just three of the uh, danger men coming from Liverpool. Um, I think they were the three that Liverpool started back in August when we played them away and lost 1-0. On an overall performance, I don't think we played too badly. Coming away with a 1-0 defeat from Liverpool, ain't considered that bad. Um, you know, overall and seeing what they're doing now. But every game's different as well, so... A few of our dan danger men that could cause problems if they play. People like Knockhart and Doby. Um, you know, Sonny March can, and I think LaGuardia can as well if he plays. Um, you know, it's. I, f I really do think it's going to be one of them games where we're going to have to come quick out the blocks to get anything from this game. Um, you know, yet again, still no Matty Ryan um, for this game either. Uh, there's no Ischiedo, um and there's no um, Bernardo. Um, the slight hamstring injury. Hope you recover soon, and the same goes to you, Ischiedo. Um But anyway, guys, here's my 1 to 11. In goal, Jason Steele's. Um, I think he had an excellent cup game um, away to Bournemouth. I think he deserves a shot in that first team keeper spot. David Button nearly cost David Button, sorry, nearly cost us a few goals at West Ham, but luckily we came away with a two all draw. Um, but that's why I'm gonna put Jason Steele the goal for this one. In right back, I think we need a true leader for this right back position. Bruno. Got his life for a minute there. Um, you know, Bruno, excellent leader out on the pitch. Got another one year contract under his belt as well. Um, so, you know, it's got to be one one of them things where I think uh, Bruno needs to play. In centre back, I am going with Lewis Dunk. Um, you know, excellent centre back he, he is. Uh, we ain't got anyone else to choose from really. Um, only other player we got is a uh, Brook Gun, but I think we're going to need a, a, a double D for this game. And now I've just mentioned that double D word. You obviously know who I'm going with, with the other centre back. It is Shane Duffy. Um, you know, them two play so well together. Um, you know, it's one of them things where you go, you know, it's a thing you want in a, in a defender's partnership. Um, they're close, they know what to do most of the time. There's only one or two incidents this season where I've nearly been caught out. Um, so, you know, that's why I've gone with uh, double D in centre-back. In left-back, and now this is because of a lot of concern, um, considering Bernardo uh, is out. And the only one player I think we are going to start with, um, and that's uh, Bong. Um, you know, he's had a iffy games, but hopefully he's learned from his mistakes and he can do a good job in this one. And he did play uh, for us up at Liverpool when we only lost 1-0. Um, and I don't think he had a bad game either. Uh, now it's obviously going to be a change of formation considering what we've been playing recently. So in left centre mid, I'm going with Sonny March. Um, you know, excellent player he's been. 
Um, you know, Brighton boy as well, same as Lewis Dunk. But I, I think we need him for this game. I really do. Um, and there's no one else I could, I could pick, really. Um, in the centre, and now this one, I'm going to change it a bit. I'm going to stick David Popper in there. I don't think David Popper has played that badly. He's had the bad old game, yes, but when where does everyone? You know, there's not one player that I've seen in the Brighton shirt this season that has not had a bad game. Um, you know, it's one of them things, so definitely stick David Popper in there. On the right side of midfield, I'll go with Dale Stevens. Um, you know, perhaps he can link up between... Bo uh, I keep forgetting the players. Oh, my head's going. Um, Bruno, um, you know, it's one of them things where... If we could get the link up play, then we might be in with a shout of at least getting an attack on goal. Um, in right on the right rings, I'll go with Anthony Knockhart. Yet again, another player I think we need in this game. Um, you know, it's one of them players that I think he had a good cup game as well. Don't know why he's being dropped. Um, you know, we've got no Jack Bash either. He's, uh, he's still doing what May Ryan's doing out in the Asia Cup. So, we need to consider a knockout um, most as possible. And in centre strike, I like to see him play, but I can't see it, so I'm going to go with him anyway. It's um, Andobi. Sorry if I mispronounced his name or not, I have, but you know who it is because it's popped up on the screen. Um, you know, it's. I think he's going to have to play to at least get some of them defenders running, especially when they go through at the back and if we catch them on the counter. Um, and then that leaves the left wing, and that is going to LaGuardia. LaGuardia has had an excellent game, I think. I don't think he's put a foot wrong in any circumstances whatsoever. So that's my 1 to 11, and that's the end of this video. Guys, if you'd like to see some more match previews, let me know. Give this video a big fat thumbs up if you enjoy it. Guys, you know what to do. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. Ciao for now.